Oh, it's 11 11. Okay. Hi guys, it's Steph Prism and I am with Robin Blodgett Art. What's up, girl? <laughs> and this is the first part of a series that I'm trying out called Cosmically Connected. Dope! I didn't even know that. <laughs> so, this is my first Cosmic Connection. I'm Robin Blodgett Art, who is an intuitive artist. And we are going to be talking about intuitive art because I feel like that's what I do too, but in like a totally different medium, right? It's like intuitive oh, art. Okay, so. I get what you're saying. I was thinking about when you actually do paint. Yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about? Well, I what guess you're right. <laughs> I guess like today we are doing the same. It is all intuitive art. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hashtag intuitive art. You can catch her on Instagram or Facebook, but I think she's really active on Instagram and she has a YouTube channel. So, yes. yeah. So, and I'll link all that in the description or like somewhere on the screen. So, all right. So we were talking about intuitive art and we're doing a little painting. Are you excited? What are you painting? What did you decide? Or you don't know? I don't know. Well, I mean, what colors at least? I don't know. Don't know? Okay. I mean, I put this up here. I put pink, green, and yellow. Pink. I always did these yellows because you said something about yellow, but before you said yellow, I always use yellow oxide for some reason. Ooh. That oxide. Okay. So what does intuitive art mean to you? Following your gut and just going with it. From, for me, it's just picking a random brush, whatever I pull towards, and a lot of times I'm like, why the fuck am I gonna use that? <laughs> and then, you're like, what's this for? Like, exactly, <laughs> like literally, I don't know if you saw it, I was like, and then usually I wanna pick like this one, and this is like, no, it's like when you wanna pick the pretty crystal, and mm -hmm. then, you can't pick the pretty crystal. Because you're attracted to the ugly one. I feel like. <laughs> That's exactly. So from the brush to the colors to the stroke, like, all of that. It's just like, what's in your gut? Yeah. Okay. And then sometimes I want to force myself to do something and I can't. I'm just like, you lying. It's a year. Really? I think you can, though. Well, if I, ca I can, it'll come out okay. But I feel like then it's ta it takes away from, because a lot of times for me, intuitive art will, like, teach me a lesson that I've been me needing to learn mm -hmm. that I haven't or something I'm trying to process and go through and if I force myself to do something else I'm not allowing myself to express myself through art for me to look back after and be like okay what was I supposed to take away from this got you yeah. okay I got you so it's well, like a process too. yeah that's why like with that one painting I did the like journey to forgiveness I just had to like let it go because I couldn't process what was wrong and whenever like Afterwards, like after that painting, stepping back from it and looking at it, I'm like, okay, so this is probably why the forgiveness part is so hard for me. Like you can see, like the zigzags, just like because I'm jumping back and forth or this mm. and that, and it's just like, or even someone pointed out the infinite, like an almost infinity symbol, and it was like to me that was like what could have been and the hope that it would have been, but it didn't make it. Mm. So I was just okay, like, yeah. interesting. Okay, so I don't let myself force it. Okay, yeah. so even but we even when you do realism, so that's not really like that's just more commission based. Stuff. Usually, or, but, but like your bloom. Well, now because that's more like so I'll go into those like with that one like I'll go into those and be like okay I want to do a flower. Yeah. But I don't know anything else. I just know it's gonna be a flower. Gotcha. Yeah, I did everything else. Just and I don't you, know where I'm gonna put them. I don't know what colors I'm gonna make them. I just know like I'm gonna put a flower. And it's just like the process. Yeah, sometimes I'm like I'm gonna put another flower. And then every time you learn something like. Usually. 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 That's interesting. That's cool. I feel like intuitive art is so different for me because I don't think I'm necessarily like processing emotions. Mm -hmm. I think maybe when I'm painting with you, like I probably have some things that like come out or mm -hmm. because I don't ever have an idea either, mm -hmm. you know? But I think like with my candles, my intuitive art, I, it's funny that like we can see things in so many, in so many different ways, yeah. you know? And so in my, with my intuitive art, I feel like it's like, intuitively what does this person need at this moment mm -hmm. you know so it's like not actually you're more as like you're processing and yeah you're trying to like like not process for another but like I guess use my intuition to see what another might need mm -hmm. so that's interesting yeah that's cool that is cool I'm like trying to think what do I do to like process don't you write I do, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I did that. I know, I can't I took, <laughs> I took writing, um, I started writing on my canvas for a little bit oh. and then doing the art on top. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I started doing that, that's but then sweet. I didn't continue with it as much. So. I think, 
But it's like if you had that feeling, if you felt like, oh, I need to release this and like write it out. You That's just what do. I did. Like yeah. on some pieces, like I literally because it was like emotions I really didn't want to have, mm-hmm. and so it was like more negative emotions. And then it's like you get to like, it's almost like burning the note. Like yeah, you cover it up with whatever. Yeah, you like so, destroy it. I was like, until someone like removes the paint a few years from now and I'm dead, and they like know all my. I know. It's like a secret letter on yeah. the painting. Who was this? It's like history. I don't know if you buy some of my work, you might have a secret little under. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. That is so freaking uh, cool. But that's what, that's usually what I'd be doing. I think you're right. I think I process more so through writing. Definitely. Yeah, because you're always talking about it. And I get yeah. lazy journaling. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired of writing this now. And so. Yeah. I like. I can't, rem- but I don't remember that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't remember that I was like journaling, but you're totally right. Yeah, you're always talking I'm about always journaling. talking about journaling. It's like the best thing ever. I you not someone to. Not journaling. Yeah. I love to journal. And I love to write. Like, I don't know I- how your hand doesn't get hurt. Huh? I don't know how your hand doesn't start. Oh, it does. But you know what's crazy? Um, remember I was telling you, like, oh, free journaling? Because I thought you were saying you didn't know what to write, but you weren't saying that. But I was talking about like free journaling. Mm hmm. Like, sometimes I'll just be, like, talking to my guys, you know? Like, in the journal? Yeah, like, or even before, like, saying, hey, guys. I don't talk to them like that. But <laughs> hey, guys. Like, hey, guys. I'm going to need that assistance right now. <laughs> but, no, being more, like, thankful. Like, thank you so much, guys, for, like, speaking through me now to help me unblock something, mm-hmm. right? And so then it's, like, my hand girl i know that sounds crazy but it's like your hand gets taken over and it doesn't really hurt because it's like it's just like flowing yeah you know that's interesting yeah and so but then afterwards yeah like by the end of it i'm like that's much what's hard for me about writing it's like that and as silly as it is i start to feel like i'm wasting time which i'm not yeah i start to feel that way and I'm just like, okay, like I have all these other things that I need to be doing and this and that and you're sitting here just writing. Hmm. But then like with my chiropractor, he was saying, when he was saying the whole like, why do you never give to yourself? Yeah. I was just like thinking about it. I was like, actually like I spend so much time when I wake up just laying in bed that if I got up and did that stuff, I would get to the, the things I need to do for the day just as quickly because instead of spending an hour or two laying in bed, I would have that time to do the journaling or do the painting. Right. Or something like that. So it's just That's interesting though. You have, you feel bad for it. Yeah, and like I when I put it into perspective like that, I'm like, why do I feel bad for it? Like you mm-hmm. literally like just get out of bed instead of laying there. Yeah. Like <laughs> but, and then instead you're like hard on yourself. If Not you, so much anymore. But if you do it, like if you were to do the writing. Oh yeah. Then yeah. you're like you feel like you should be doing something else. Yeah. So that's why, like, usually, like, I'm trying to get back into waking up early. Because I used to wake up at 4 a.m. And I used to wow. journal in the morning, go to the gym, and things like that. And I'm trying to get back to that because it's just, like, at that early, like, no one else is awake. And I don't feel like I'm supposed to be up and doing something right now. So it's hard? or So it's easier. Like, yeah, yeah. But, and then it's, like, quiet. Yeah. I don't feel like um, so I should be running errands or, like, this is when people are usually doing this. Like, this is what I need to be doing. Yeah, it's, like, before everyone, by the time, like, 6, 7 o'clock rolls around, I've already done everything I want to do for myself. And that's why, like, I tell everyone here at home, I'm, like, hey, the first, like, two, three hours I'm awake, if I'm in my room, like, don't, no one come yeah. talk to me. Like, I need that time. To do your stuff. Yeah, for, like, me. Gotcha. The process that I'm actually going to have to go out into the world soon. (laughs) I feel that. I feel that. Cool. Man, I'm like so, I'm in, I'm happy that we have like two different intuitive parts, like definitions. Do you know what I mean? It's just like so different. Um, okay. So what got you into art? Um, so with me, I used to be suicidal and I struggled with depression and anxiety for, well, depression for a decade, well, now 11 years, but, and then, like, anxiety for as long as I could really remember, and then I was tired of it, so I was just, like, 
back in January of 2018, I almost attempted suicide. And instead of doing that, wow. <laughs> while I was like with a knife in my hand, I was like, you know what? Like, you can't take your life until you try to live it. And so I started forcing myself to try everything that I was afraid of doing. Mm -hmm. And Thank one you, thing. <laughs> One thing I've always been scared to do was to do something creative because I always thought I was the only one in my family who wasn't creative. And so I tried out painting and it kind of just clicked. Sn yeah, clicked and snowballed from there. And then like, it's like a year later and like it completely like flipped my life around. Doing the damn thing. Yeah, so. Good for you. Definitely. Oh. So you, you felt like you were self-aware that you weren't living your life. Yeah, definitely. Like, I've always known that, I just I didn't uh, really understand how to take control of it. How to live it? Yeah, and it's because like, I had really just tried to be what everyone else really wanted me to, thought I should do, or like, and then if you ask people close to me, they're gonna be like, no, Robin's always done her own thing, but it's like, they don't know that internally that I was struggling to with actually do your own thing versus you need to be what everyone's saying to be. Mm. So they weren't a, a lot of people aren't aware of that. They just think like no Robin's always like gone off and did her own thing It's like uh, you think so, but so but much you, of my mind was like major guilt for it at the same time You get like, held back a lot. Yeah hmm, Interesting. Yes, yeah, so now you're not holding back. No, except for traveling by myself, but I'm just scared to do that myself. Really? Yeah, I guess I don't know. Would you travel by yourself though? It was like only just a little bit of time? Maybe, if it Maybe somewhere in Texas, but there's, I don't know, like... Well, I mean, traveling right now is by yourself. I mean, I could see where that would be, like, really intimidating. Not from, like, a standpoint that you can't do it or, like, to get down on yourself, but yeah. just the world is yeah, going that's crazy. Yeah, it's more like the world the is world crazy. Is just I don't like, really, like, trust it, so... I know, world! <laughs> get it together! What are we doing? <laughs> People are scared to go travel and see the world and see this freaking beautiful creature. <laughs> Seriously, no, it's, it's sad. True. It's so sad. It's very true. It's so sad that we are like afraid to go see something that's the most gorgeous thing that we may ever know. Yeah. Makes me sad. It makes me so sad. So we just need to get together. Just saying. That's great though. That's so cool that you were able to like be self-aware. I feel like that's the hardest part, especially like in depression. And I'm not saying for everyone, I think a lot of people are, you know, everyone's on their own journey. I feel like I've always been self-aware. Every time I've gone to a therapist, my therapist has always been like, wow, you're really aware of yourself. My therapist said that too. Yeah. And when I went there, I'm like, oh, okay, so you know that. And I'm like, yeah, so can we like talk about something I don't know? <laughs> like, yeah. So let's go to the next, like you're trying to treat me as like a beginner patient just because I'm new. But I mean, we're a little bit like. It's just like you you have other things you want to talk about or like you're already to the like you already realize do. yeah you don't have to like convince me what's going on like I I'm, I see it you know you know that like you can see what's happening it's just like by change how to change it or how to yeah. like confront it or I know for me too it's like with fear there's a lot of fear that I've dealt with like my own anxiety and depression you know and it's like becoming aware I think there's a lot of people out there that are depressed or 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 living like from their ego and then then in a sense are kind of like depressed or feeling like down on mm -hmm. themselves or anxious right but they're not like even aware of what they're doing yeah no totally I definitely knew so someone like that so so that's like really cool that you were able to be like hey Robin I'm not living my life so we need to get it together and try to live right exactly yeah exactly I was, I was sick of it. <laughs> I was definitely sick of it. Do you feel like you have moments where you're still down or like depressed? Um, I feel like I have like little stages when I feel like it might be falling in. Mm -hmm. But nothing to what it used to be. So, it's just, I don't know. And usually, honestly, at that point, I kind of feel like it gets chopped off to like, Mm. Because I notice it's around the same time each month. Oh, I just started to. So I'm now I feel like it's like starting to be linked to my cycle more so. You're, so like your emotions, as a hormonal your hormones, thing. yeah, hormones. yeah. Because yeah. once like I started doing that whole like just doing everything that scares you type of deal, it's become more. Um, 
it's become like, it's harder for me to be down now because I'm like, you're already out there doing everything. Instead of, because a lot of what it was before was like, look at you, you're just laying here or you're not even trying or it's like now it's like, oh, you're trying and you're putting yourself out there. So yeah. And you're getting results. Yeah. Putting yourself out there, you're getting a lot of results. Yeah. So. <laughs> am, I, am I the only one? Like, <laughs> I thought I wasn't the only one. I thought the whole thing was on mental health. Okay, well, it goes. Shortly after midnight, January 1st, 2018, I held a knife in my hand, one thought away from attempting suicide. To name a few thoughts running through my mind in that moment, they went something like this You're not doing anything with your life. You're incapable of living without the financial support of your family. And while you have that, you're not doing anything with it. How ungrateful could you be? You took time off for your mental health from school, and now look at you clueless about which direction to go. I can't see a future, it's just a dark void. There really must not be a future then. You're a burden and you offer nothing to nobody. Their lives would truly be a lot easier if they didn't have the responsibility of taking care of you. Those thoughts tightening the grasp on my, my grasp on the knife Staring down at my blurred reflection in my right hand, other thoughts began to break.